Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. Director Fritz Lang is in our spotlight tonight. Up next, we have a crime drama that Lang directed nine years after he made our last film, Ministry of Fear. Now, the Austrian-born Fritz Lang has long been cited as one of the forefathers of the film noir genre. With his dark-themed films he made in Germany, such as M and Metropolis, and equally dark films he made in Hollywood in the 30s, such as Fury, a movie we'll be showing later tonight. But in the 40s and 50s, when the genre was in full flower, Lang also contributed to some of the best examples of film noir. He made Scarlet Street, The Big Heat, Clash by Night, and the film we're about to bring you, The Blue Gardenia, released by Warner Brothers in 1953. In it, Ann Baxter plays a woman who wakes up one morning after a blind date and comes to believe that she may have murdered the man she's just been with. But did she? That's the question, and one which many people hope to find an answer to. And she's joined in the film by Richard Conte, no stranger to film noir himself. He plays a reporter who tries to help Ann discover the truth. Now, the movie is a project Fritz Lang did on a very tight budget with a brief production schedule of only 20 days. So to make his deadline, he did a great deal of pre-planning with his cinematographer, Nicholas Musaraka, whose film noir credits include photographing the classic out of the past. And something else of note about our next film, it features a screen appearance by Nat King Cole, singing the title song in a nightclub. So from 1953 also with Raymond Burr, George Rees, and the wonderful Anne Southern. This film made by Anne the same year she launched her very successful TV series, Private Secretary, which ran for four years. Here's The Blue Gardenia. Mm -hmm. 